Oh, good. Well, hello, Mr. Chad Thompson. This is uh, Carlo. Nice to meet you. I, I'm coming to you as a very proud uh, homosexual, um, the one that you demonize, remember. Um, I just thought your video was very interesting. Um, some, some pretty wise words you have there. Uh, I remember a lot of the, the brilliant minds shared some of the same ideas as you do. Um, Adolf Hitler, that's, he was a great guy, you know, he, he, uh, did horrible experiments on homosexuals, and, uh, I think you're basically putting forth the same message that he was. But I guess that's okay with you because the Bible says so. Just like the Bible says plenty of other logical things, plenty of things that make perfect sense in, um, what century are we in now? The, the 21st? Like, um, Noah's Ark? That could have happened. Sure. Uh, di didn't some guy get eaten by a fish? Who? Jonah? He lived in a fish or something. That happens all the time. I hear about it on the news all the time. And um, I read this really good book by Sam Harris. It's called Letters to a Christian Nation. And um, he points out a lot of the hypocrisies and just downright ridiculous quotes and such from the Bible that really don't apply to um, the scientific uh, world today. That if, if, unless you have a neurological disorder, then you really don't buy into. So, you know, it's great that you have your religion in Christianity. And, um, you know, I, I know people who are too, some of which are assholes. But, you know, that's not my business. I try to just let it water off a duck's back, Chad. But, um, you know, everyone's entitled to their own beliefs. But um, certainly, uh, you don't have to impose them upon me. Um, I notice that a lot of Christianity's rules and everything sort of uh, bleed over into the public sector when you have a gay adoption banned in Arkansas, or you have Reverend Ted Haggard, wonderful man, wonderful man, who helped uh, impose a ban on gay marriage in the state of Colorado which I can only actually get married in Massachusetts. Um, the comedian Wanda Sykes said, you know, if you don't agree with gay marriage, then don't get married to someone of the same sex. I thought that was interesting. Don't do that, because I, I would like to get married someday, but hey, you know, I can't. So thanks a lot for that. Thank you for that. Um, and uh, as far as you denying your homosexuality, you know, I don't think sexuality itself is always that black and white. You know, perhaps you do like girls. I, I don't, which is fine if you do. Uh, I don't. So I, I don't see myself liking them anytime soon. Um, I don't particularly fancy their anatomy. So, oof, I, I wouldn't kind of, I wouldn't go there so much, you know. But you have fun with that. <laughs> You have fun with that. And um, basically, that's all I wanted to say. So continue preaching your word of intolerance and um, denying people like me my civil rights. Because, oh, but Jesus loves. Jesus loves you, but, you know, you can't have civil rights. Uh, you can't have a domestic partnership. But Jesus loves you. As soon as you decide not to be a fag anymore, then you can have those equal rights. As soon as you like vaginas, then... The rights are all yours, so maybe I'll maybe I'll be healed. Maybe you can instill some knowledge in me, Chad. Thanks, Mr. Thompson. Have a lovely day.